Okay, hi and welcome to a new video. For those of you who are new, I am Eva and I am full-time artist. And based on the title that you saw, uh, this is a kind of day in the life of an artist. And because none of the days or very rarely the days are the same, there is no like a standard day of an artist. Uh, so this is more also like a unique type of a day in my life as an artist because I want to take you along to London for a screen printing workshop because I thought it might be interesting for you to see. And um, so this will be part of a vlog series because I recorded quite a lot during the trip and I wanted to split it into more videos. So in this part, there will be some drawing. I will also show you around the accommodation because it was a quite fun, colorful room. And then also I visited some cool shops, which are colorful, also cool bookstore. There will be some walking around in London. So I think a lot of cool things. <laughs> so you can already subscribe and like the video because, well, why not? <laughs> it would be nice. And uh, why screen printing workshop? Because most of the time I work with iPad or Photoshop when I work on client projects. And then I also work with traditional media like gouache or colored pencils or uh, um, other tools in my sketchbook. So screen printing would be something a new and fun thing to learn because I feel like we should always learn something new and explore. And also, apparently screen printing was one of the first ways to print newspapers, so why not to try that? And if you are wondering why London and how I found this place, I actually follow one of the cool artists on Instagram, among many others. I'm sure you follow a lot of people too. Um, and she's an artist in resident in this studio. So I saw the studio in one of her stories or reels, I don't remember. And I thought like, oh, this would be super cool to visit. So this is how I found the workshop. <laughs> And when I sign up for the workshop, they ask us to prepare um, artwork, which we want to print. So um, I decided to uh, go for animals and I designed owls because I thought that it would be a cool print to have at home. So if you want to see part of it, I can show you a little bit like now soon. But if you watched the video previously, uh, I mean the <laughs> previous video which I published, which uh, were the owls, so you already saw the process and the artwork. But for those of you who haven't seen it yet, here is a little preview. Okay, so that was the little preview of the artwork which I prepared. And I thought you might be wondering which brushes I was using during this drawing or in the process of drawing the owls. And I was using my uh, sketch brush set and a gouache brush set for coloring. So I will put that also in the link. Uh, I will put the link in the description of the video. And uh, now, Let's go to London, take a bus, early flight, metro, and just hopefully get there and not to be too tired. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
on the day we decided to go to the garden after the travel because we are uh, quite tired from being inside and sitting. So now we'll just walk and as you can see it's not raining, it's like overcast day but uh, we are dressed with a, you know, like raincoat and umbrella so let's go! <laughs> So we found a bench in the park because we are actually quite tired after getting up at like 4.30 and all the travel. So it's super nice to be now uh, just sitting and relaxing among the green and it's actually not too cold so it's super nice and um, the meadows and the spaces here are quite big so it feels very spacious and along the way we actually got some like ginger shop so just to uh, refill on some vitamins so let's test that out how strong it is <clears throat> okay it has um, quite a lot of ginger yeah pretty good <laughs> so Cheers! Okay, this was actually quite a nice spot to draw, but um, it's not my favorite drawing or sketch ever, I would say, because first I started drawing the goose, geese, whatever that is, <laughs> the bird, <laughs> um, with the neck, how they were sleeping, but it looked super unnatural and strange in the drawing. So I ended up adjusting the sketch and I think I will still look at it when we get to our Airbnb or home. So I will maybe add some color and probably also adjust the shapes and, and see if I like it more in like a little bit different angle. So let's see how that goes. <laughs>
shame that we couldn't get any like books or other like small things because our luggage is very limited we actually came only with a backpack so <laughs> it's uh, horrible like you look at something and you're like oh that would be so nice to get <laughs> but yeah maybe next time decorations like so colorful definitely makes me want to update our house to be with more color <laughs> so tiny house tour I mean a room tour <laughs> so cute and I got to try first time the hot water bottle <laughs> for the bed uh, it's like a bottle <laughs> a dog shape oh my god how fun is this i have never seen this and as you can see there is a more dog related uh theme here um uh, like the poster and also the other uh, towel <laughs> yeah, so fun so um today felt like a very long day after getting up so early and uh, walking a lot during the day and i thought i will draw a bit as well in the evening but i think i will just leave it for tomorrow um maybe coloring some of the sketches i made during the day i didn't show you all of them because um i was just sketching a bit and then i didn't film it so sorry about that but i will show you the um, uh, not final sketches but you know what i mean some colored versions So now it's really time to go to sleep, I think, and then tomorrow I will take you along for more adventures. So see you later. <laughs> 